And an Indianapolis woman is stuck right in the middle of that chaos in Texas. Yeah, she flew from here to Dallas because she wanted to visit her girlfriend over the weekend and then she was going to return on Monday. But you know what? Right now she's still in Texas. In fact, she told our Mary Mills today that she's used to snow and occasional power outages here, but nothing like this. Anna Sutter took this video outside her girlfriend's Dallas apartment where the two had been huddled up and without power for four and a half days in the frigid cold. We had maybe two to three layers on of socks, pants, sweatshirts, hats, gloves um, when we went to sleep under three blankets. While their power came back on last night, Sutter worries for how long? I would say the sound of it going off is the worst sound now <laughs> to me. Um, I'm that stresses me out. She says she feels horrible for Texans, not used to nor prepared for anything like this. Nobody was warned about this uh, storm. Nobody was equipped with the equipment that they needed for this storm. From firewood to generators. Like, it, I feel like stores look like the apocalypse once the snow started. Unlike here, they don't have snow plows, so even days later, streets are still like it just snowed this morning. Um, ice everywhere, people are sliding on the roads. Um, Stoplights are still out everywhere. And remember, Texans seldom have any need for snow shovels. So yesterday I saw somebody with a golf club trying to like take the, the snow off their sidewalk or you have credit cards going on your windshield trying to get the, the snow off the windshield. But she says the worst part of the last five days. It's hard. It's hard being in the dark for so long. I think people don't understand that piece either. Just it just being pitch black is really, really difficult.